What's up everybody, Furious Pete. We're back for another world tour and you can see the Golden Gate Bridge behind us. So that means we're in San Francisco. The city has a lot to offer. Let's start the show. popular and best dishes to get when it's windy and cold like this is some clam chowder. So let's go grab a bowl and see what it's all about. All right, some uh, clam chowder here. So this is really thick, thick and creamy with a bunch of clams inside. What's cool is they put this into a sourdough bowl so you can eat the bowl afterwards as well. Let's give this a try. That's actually really good. It tastes very fresh. You can taste all the clams inside. This is, this is the perfect place to do it. You're right beside the ocean. You're really like beside the bay and then you got the Pacific right beside you and, uh, and you're eating seafood. I mean, no, no better place to do it. Good way to start the day, stomach full, let's get rolling. We're at Quint's, a three Michelin star restaurant, so you know we're in for a treat. Let's check it out. Hello, chef. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Pete, Mike Tuss. nice Mike to meet Tuss. you. Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure. The place looks amazing. And I'm sure the food is just, just as amazing. Can we get started? Yeah, I'm well, starving. Why don't I take you into the kitchen? Yes, please do. Let's go. Got a sheet of plastic so you're not eating directly on the iPad. Oh, so you're uh, eating on top of this. Yeah, you're eating oh, on top of this. Oh, that's so cool. That's so, such a cool experience. We're based in the heart of San Francisco. Yep. Silicon Valley is yep, for sure. 30, 35 minutes away. You know, we get a lot of designers from these companies and the restaurants. I consider it to be a little bit of gastronomy, a little bit of technology. At the end of the day, it's just supposed to be a fun, fun little bite. Here, here's some art, the, the dish that we're on and just try to a little. They try to kind of locate on the video where the truffle may be found by the pig. That's it. That's it. This guy, he found one here, so I'm just gonna grab this one right here. And then the whole thing in your mouth, right? Yep, one okay. button. It just wanna, melts in your mouth. It just explodes in your mouth. Wow. It's liquid since it's uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, meant to just kind of explode. The bishop and the butter. You, you can't eat it and wow. take a little bite and not be. Wow, that was, that, was, so. that was really good. It's very rich, but like the flavors inside are fantastic. So it's the night where you're awarded your third Michelin star. Did you know that the critic was here, the taste tester was here at any given point throughout the night? You never kind of know if. Uh, they're very kind of um, good at what they do. Well, I appreciate your time here today. Congratulations once again, and uh, good luck with everything. And I hope to be back here one day in the future. Thanks so, for thank you. I thank you. If you're going to San Francisco, be sure to wear some flowers in your hair. If you're going to San Francisco, I enjoy it. It's a nice view of the city. It's very refreshing too. You get to like lean out. It's good fun.
Do you know how old these cable cars are on average? 1873. That's when it started. Yeah, but these obviously aren't as old or anything. Yeah, they've been refurbished. Oh, they just refurbished. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Very cool. The cable is in the ground. This car has no power on it at all. Oh, really? Yeah, it just has the battery for the lights. That's it. The power is underneath. This guy has the grip. Well, the grip has dies on it. Where it releases, it releases the cable. And we add the brakes on. We have brake shoes and we have track brakes. to try a very unique donut. I heard it's amazing, so let's go find out. Hi. Nice to meet you, Pete. Nice to meet you, Pete. Nice to meet you. Well, I've heard from, you know, through the grapevine that you guys have a very unique donut here. We do. We have something called pork belly donuts. Pork belly donuts. I think I'll have an order of those because uh, that just sounds very, very, uh, very tempting. I can get an order started Perfect. for you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, awesome. So what's, so what's the pork belly in this? The pork belly is a whole pork belly that we slow cook overnight in a blend of beer, orange juice, and spices. So, and that's in the middle somewhere? That's in the middle. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all the, all the, the gooeyness on the outside. Let's cut this guy through. Boom. They're a little melty apart. They just fall apart, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. This is different, and this is a better different. This is so good. This is fantastic. Wow. It's yes. good. It's really good. Hey, what's up? Hey, Pete. What's you? up? Nice to meet you, Terry. Nice meeting you here. Uh, uh, thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm here to engage in that delicious, delicious dessert of yours called the Kitchen Sink Challenge. That's right. So if you finish it under 30 minutes, you get if you, a, a free ice cream for a year or something? You get free ice cream for a year. So. so I gotta come back to San Francisco many times to get my ice cream. You guys oh, yeah. don't deliver, right? We don't deliver. Ah, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, this is probably our most unusual one. It's a purple yam called uh, ube, which is from the Philippines. All right, here Sweet. we go. Some ube. Mmm. Is that going to ruin you for the challenge later? Oh, yeah, I'm totally ruined now. <laughs> That's actually really good. You're going to be that much from finishing. I know. <laughs> I'll be like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have had that sample. Yeah. Before you do any challenge, any ice cream challenge, you stretch. People can kind of have a party and share a big Sunday, and then the challenge came about, and one person joked and asked what he would get if he finished the whole thing. And I told him, if you can finish the whole thing, I'd give you free ice cream for a year. The joke became a thing. Here we go. Uh, three, two, one, let's go. All right, good luck. <laughs> that was good. I'm cold. That's that brain freeze, guys. 
feet, it's been five minutes. It may look like I'm almost done, but I'm not. Still, Pete, you're almost there. You're making good time. You're about eight minutes in. Like ice in the sunshine. Eyes in the sunshine. Like ice in the sunshine. <laughs> One more cherry. All right, hold this thing and tilt it over. I see that it's Looks good. empty. There you, you go. You think that's good enough? Oh, yeah. OK, cool. Awesome. You did it. There we go, guys. Free ice cream for a year. Sweet. Yeah, baby. There you, go. you grab like four or five people. This is a delicious treat. I highly recommend doing it. It's about uh, one and a half to two gallons of ice cream. It's going to weigh, depending on the toppings you get, it's going to weigh about roughly 10 pounds. It's in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> So what happens when you take sushi and burrito and combine the two concepts together, you get sushi rito. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, the geisha's kiss. This is the sushi rito, a sushi burrito, right? And really what it looks like is an extra large sushi roll. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. I'm not sure what that crispiness is inside. Whatever it is, it adds it adds a lot to it. I recommend I recommend trying this. If you're a fan of sushi, try it. If you like your burritos, but you like a little bit of fish added, try it. Cool concept. Hi, good morning. William? Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. Good morning. So what are we creating here today? We're going to show you our uh, signature Rebel Within. What's it, what's it called? It's called the Rebel Within. Rebel Within, OK. It's an all-in-one breakfast savory cake. We're going to add our eggs. We're going to add our some fresh. basically make the sausage without casings okay. and then uh, cook it and chop it up. But uh, it's kind of a take on the American breakfast sausage, a little bit of spice, uh, a little bit of sweetness. Whoops. That's fine. That's right. That's the only reason. Just give it a little nest, you know, on the bottom. That's perfect. Yeah. So how long does it take to get these guys done? About 15 minutes. Okay, perfect. All right. Let's get them in. We'll throw them in. Awesome. And it says Rebel, huh? Yeah. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. They definitely grew a little bit. Gorgeous. That is beautiful. And I think, yeah, I think you did a great job. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is good. The muffin is very moist. You can taste all the spices inside. The sausage comes out. The green onion actually makes the flavor. Good, man. I heard you got a good challenge here. Bring it on. Come on. Let's, let's, see, let's see what it's all about. All right. Drinks, fryers, sausage so Daniel. Yeah, what's up, man? Oh, my God, man. I watch your video. Oh, very bro. cool. Very cool. Nice awesome, to meet you. Dude. Great meeting you. Man. Yeah, you too, man. <laughs> yeah. This guy's famous right here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I can eat. This is one monster sandwich. You can feel the weight of it. It is insane. Like, look at all the cheese and meat. This is not an easy challenge whatsoever. Like, at all. At all. This is nuts. Good luck, man. I don't, I don't know what else to say, dude. It's a lot. Okay. Timer starts now. Cool. Where it's like now, I'm like reevaluating. I'm like two more restaurants to hit up. Oh, jeez. Don't want to feel, don't want to feel yeah. like death. So thank you. It was, it was a fun challenge, but I'm gonna leave a little bit for you. I appreciate that, man. Bit like how you usually might see, but um, we do a technique where you just run the knife underneath the scales. You can see progress. Sure. So what's what's important here is you just want to put a place. See how the scales lift up. Yep. And then move the knife up and down. Yep. And don't push. Don't push the knife. You feel it sort of go on its own. That's right. sashimi you're dipping it in soy sauce and here you have olive oil and it changes the flavor changes the flavor a lot and like in a good way I like it I like it a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this I would say is like the kind of food that you eat with a beer it works well with a beer here, I'll show you guys. Mm -hmm. That works well. place to come this is the place to come and enjoy yourself and kind of just like pretend you're in a tropical island in the middle of San Francisco it's a lot of fun and the food is good too 